extremely windy today, and now I'm here in this nice little shady alcove under this tree. It's wonderful indeed. And I have these tasty lentils with ketchup and cayenne pepper and salt that I retrieved from my secret stash in a bucket. And now I have salt in my lentils. And this place here is just nice. I absolutely love these little places like this. They're like little paradise places. And here's a, a bag with some bread that I have. I have uh, I cooked four lumps of it. And I just have this bag to carry it because I don't want to leave it. Um, it's extremely windy today. Actually, it's really annoying, but oh well. I just don't want to leave the bread somewhere where it, where it will be in a container and possibly getting condensation because it's still warm, freshly cooked. So I like to leave it out so that it dries because this bread's fine if, it, if that happens it doesn't get too hard or anything maybe, maybe it will after two days or something but i just leave it out to cool off and dry so that it doesn't develop a bunch of condensation in whatever container it's in i'm going to scrape off all the black stuff as much as i feel like it it doesn't really need to be scraped off at all actually well maybe some if there's a ton of it but it's even with the black stuff, it's edible. It's maybe 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and the wind is blowing in late April in southern Nevada. And it's pretty comfortable. I'm spring tired, and the flowers are blooming. It's pretty nice. I love the flowers, so they're great. And it's pretty dry heat, and the wind is like a fan. Sometimes it does get very hot and things heat up and radiate heat. So soon we don't have to leave for the summer because it can be about 110 degrees Fahrenheit, which is too hot for comfort. I'll have to go somewhere to a cooler climate to avoid potential overheating. So I should probably enjoy my time here while it lasts. Almost time for me to leave this place. It's getting hot in the springtime. 90 degree days are common in uh, April. Some nice flowers blooming. Is normal. There's some stuff that I suppose blew in. heavy like it's kind of a fresh one. I guess they are ripe or what ripe in the the winter. Maybe there's two seasons for them. I don't know. Some more purple flowers. These ones are interesting. I like these little cups. Little buttercups are or something. And these these bulbs Interesting flower. And other flowers are there. Creosote. Beautiful creosote bush. A bush that smells like rain. When it's wet, it has 
wax or resin in it that smells like rain, as if rain fell on the ground. It's pretty nice. Very good smelling bush. It can be used as deodorant. I actually used to wash a uh, handkerchief, handkerchief with creosote water because it smelled good. And it was great to have creosote scented handkerchief. Mustard plants have actually, their leaves have shriveled up. I guess they just shrivel up eventually. But they have their seeds here which are drying. And these seeds are what mustard is made from. These are a different type of mustard probably than what any mustard is made from, but they are mustard seeds. They actually taste kind of good. The pods are dry enough. They crack open very easily and, and the seeds fall out. So it's hard to eat the seeds when they're dry because they fall all over the place. Some nice pink flowers. It's actually hot. It's probably about oh, 80 degrees right now. But it's really dry heat, not too humid. Or not humid at all, possibly. And it's kind of breezy today, so it's like a fan. But it's pretty hot here in late April. Soon it will be time to leave to the next zone, the place of cooler temperatures. Yes, I would like to see all the flowers bloom around this place, but I may miss some of them, though there are quite a few that have bloomed. Las Vegas is called, or means the meadows, so maybe it's called that because a lot of flowers bloom from this place in the springtime. It's pretty, pretty nice. Here, some pink ones, and then some purple ones inside the other plant. Cool right there. I think the pink ones smell good. There's some more yellow ones. Right, yellow ones. And what else do we have? These kind. I don't know if they smell good. Probably no. And what other flowers are there? There are purple flowers here too. I slipped on this this gravel thing. Uh, purple flowers. Different purple flowers. Really big ones, like those yellow ones, like these yellow ones, but they're purple instead. Really nice looking. These flowers smell really good too. It's nice yellow flowers. Windy, so I collapse my tent into a tarp. If it stays windy at night, I'll sleep in the tarp probably. It's pretty decent to sleep in a tarp in this place because there aren't really bad animals around here. There's uh, coyotes, but they flee from people. There's snakes, but they're extremely rare. And I've only seen one in about five years, and apparently they don't like rocks or plants, only open sandy areas. Something like that. And there are rodents, but they don't, the ones here have been respectful. I actually have known them. There's, there's, so there's some squirrels here, and uh, which actually may not be rodents, but it's possible.
that they are actually um, rodents are part of are a part of a separate family. Squirrels. There's one in the back of the houses. It's nice to get them peanuts and banana fields, but they seem to have left this place. type rodents but it's called a rat and there's a kangaroo mouse as well in that family I guess maybe it's just their size that's why they're it's the reason for their being called rat and mouse and it's it's a very respectful kangaroo rat usually they are It's not generally something to be worried about, but normal actual rats are, and in some places out here they do live. But the only time possibly that I've ever had trouble with them was in Joshua Tree forests. There are no Joshua trees around here for miles. I think that they specifically live in Joshua Tree forests, but I'm not sure. I just I haven't, don't remember if I've ever had problems with them anywhere other than the Joshua Tree Forest. There was a nice bird. The birds here are nice. place to camp. Nice and secluded. About five miles from the city. Nice and private. And pretty good weather until it's 